Dating right back to the start of personal computers, all systems have come equipped with some form of secondary storage. First, what is secondary storage? When a user loads data into a computer, the information is stored temporarily in the RAM. When the computer is turned off, this data would be lost. Secondary storage, on the other hand, ensures that data is stored permanently even if the computer is switched off so that it can be used again later. So, we can say secondary storage is a type of storage that stores data and software permanently while being separate from the computer itself. Secondary storage devices fall into three different categories of storage media. Magnetic storage media, optical storage media, and solid state storage media. Each one of those work in a different way to store data. So, let's talk more about magnetic storage media and the way it works. Magnetic material is coated on top of the disk or tape that can be magnetized in such a way as to store data in tiny dots. The data is present in the form of binary zeros and ones. Hard disk drives are made up of more than one disk, and these disks are known as platters. The dots are arranged in circles on the surface of each platter that is made from glass, ceramic, or aluminium coated in nickel alloy that can be magnetized, thus allowing it to store data. In the case of magnetic tape, the dots are arranged along a strip of plastic coated in a magnetic material that is used to store data. Internal hard disk drives, portable hard disk drives, and magnetic tapes are some examples of magnetic storage media. Let's first focus on internal hard disk drives, also known as fixed hard disk drives. Internal hard disk drives are available on all computers and are the main methods used for data storage. It is fixed on a PC with read-write heads, allowing data to be written to or read from the disk surface. Here are some uses of fixed hard disk drives. The hard disk drive usually stores the disk operating system and other system software, as well as application software and files. Two advantages of fixed hard disk drives are that they have a very fast data transfer rate. The data transfer rate refers to the amount of digital data that is moved from one place to another in a given time. They also have a fast access time to data as they use the direct access method. Some disadvantages are that the read-write operation can be noisy and that they can be damaged if the shutdown procedure isn't carried out correctly. This can lead to a head crash that would result in data loss. The next example is a portable hard disk drive. Compared to fixed hard disk drives, portable hard disk drives work the same way. The only difference is that they usually have to be connected to a computer via a USB port, making it portable and easier to use from one computer to another. Compared to optical disks like CDs and DVDs, the portable hard disk drive has a larger storage capacity. Now, we will discuss some uses of portable hard disk drives. They can be used as a backup system to prevent loss of data, as well as transfer data from one computer to another. Some advantages of portable hard disk drives are that the data transfer rate is very fast, as well as the data access time as they use the direct access method. They can be used as a method of transferring information between computers. The disadvantages are that they can be easily damaged if not taken care of. For instance, they can be damaged if dropped, subjected to a strong magnetic field, or just like fixed hard disk drives, they could get damaged if the shutdown procedure wasn't done correctly. The last example of magnetic storage devices that we'll be discussing in depth is a magnetic tape. A magnetic tape is a very thin piece of plastic that has been coated in a magnetic layer like we've said before. The data is stored in the magnetic areas that represent zeros and ones. Magnetic tapes use the serial access method to access their data. Some of the uses of magnetic tapes are in applications where batch processing is used, like for example in clearing bank checks, utility billing, and producing payslips, as specific orders and speeds of data access isn't necessary nor needed. Here are some advantages of magnetic tapes. 
they are generally less expensive per byte than the equivalent hard disk. Some disadvantages are stated below. Magnetic tapes have a very slow data access time as they use the serial access method to access their data. Magnetic tapes are also affected by magnetic fields as a strong magnet can corrupt data stored on the tape. 